Hello friends, today I would like to give you a calculation puzzle. In this position, it is black to play, and I would like you to evaluate the king and pawn 9 game that would arise after bishop takes d4. So please pause the video and try to calculate what are the consequences in that king and pawn 9 game. Is white winning? Is that a draw? Or perhaps black is winning? And so let's go for that line now on the board. Bishop takes d4, king takes d4. I think taking makes sense, otherwise we would just allow white's king to be making progress if we move back. So b takes c4, king takes c4, and now we have a race. So it seems like black's king is gonna go after the g pawn and gonna push the f pawn, while white will try to eat the a6 and c6 pawns while promoting the b or a pawn. And if we calculate this line without creating any lists of candidate moves, moves that are worth of considering, and we're just going straight forward for the main line, then it gets very interesting and very good for black. So we have king d6, king to b6, king f2, and here if white is not careful enough, he can even lose this. If king takes a6, we can already see that when black is going to promote, there is going to be a check. And after very forcing line, black will enter a winning endgame, queen up, and we know that white won't be able to promote this pawn. Black will always spin it and threaten the pawn with the queen. At some point, we're going to force the black's king to hide on b8. And during the meantime, we will start bringing our own uh, king towards the pawns of his. So it's very easy to get tricked, calculate just one line and say that this is absolutely winning for black. And in the main line, miss that we have to make list of candidate moves for our opponent as well. He doesn't have to go after the A pawn here because he already has the majority of the pawns. He's winning on the queen side. Black cannot do anything about it. So all he needs to do is not to lose on the king side. So when black is going king e3, we're going king to d5. Activity of the white's king. And here black cannot win the g pawn or at least he can only do that at the price of losing the f pawn. So if here king e4 and if black was to take the pawn, we know that white was winning on the queen side and that is still maintained here. So the outcome of this endgame is actually that black is completely lost, but you can only see that if you create a list of candidate moves, not only for yourself, list of options, but also for your opponent. Remember that chess is a, a complex game and there is just no one very forcing line uh, in all the calculations you're trying to make. So the correct uh, move for black would be to maintain the bishop here, for example, something like bishop to e5 and continue playing uh, this equal endgame where perhaps I think white can try slightly push for the win, although it definitely should end in a draw with a, a perfect play. I hope you enjoyed this calculation puzzle. Let me know if I should be giving more of these perhaps uh, in the middle game and opening stages as well. If you did enjoy the video, please do subscribe to my chess channel. Uh, you can also consider hiring me as your personal chess coach online. That's my full-time job at the moment. Stay safe, my friends, and continue sharing the love for the game. Thank you, and see you in the next video.